In this video, I will share the three biggest scams that RV dealerships will try to pull in 2025. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the Honey Badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. And the first scam that they are going to try to pull is called The Leg. Now, if this is the first time you have seen one of my videos, I have over a decade of experience working at RV dealerships as a service guy, salesman, sales manager, finance manager. Pretty much outside of being an owner of the dealership, I've worn just about every hat on an RV lot. Now, getting back to scam number one, we call it the leg. You call it payment stuffing. Now this is something that's going to be very common next year because you have to understand that a lot of dealerships are really depending on what we call back-end profit in order to stay in business. Most of you out there, the majority of you out there, know that the RV industry is hurting really bad. Dealerships are closing their doors left and right. Uh, they're selling off to bigger corporations. So in this case, they're really depending on giving the finance manager as much leg as possible. So that way, they have a better chance to sell you product. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Well, there's what we call the four square. The four square is a normal thing. I call it a pro proposition or proposal. The normal would be, let's say, 35 grand, 350 a month with seven grand down. That's what we call the should be's. Okay. What happens is, is when you say, okay, I'm going to offer X amount for the price and X amount for the payment. Let's say you offer 250 for the payment. They come in and offer you 325. You counter at 300. They come back at 315. That back and forth. Well, inside that payment, they have stuffed an extended warranty, stuffed gap coverage. In some cases, they've stuffed paint and fabric into that payment without disclosing it to you. So the best way to combat this is instead of sitting there asking for the out the door number, which is the silliest thing you could possibly do at an RV dealership, ask for the breakdown. So when they give you the initial payment for you to avoid any sort of leg, all you have to do is go to the sales guy and say, hey, I see you gave me a payment of X amount on the four square or on there. Can I please have the breakdown of how you got to that payment? And in that case, you can also say, hey, I'd like to look at the G screen or the breakdown that shows all the license fees, sales tax, and all your fees. May I please see that? That way you can do your own calculations on your own RV loan calculator while you're sitting there. That way there's no back and forth BS. Now here's the thing. The reason why they do these payment stuffing or what we call the leg is because no offense to most finance managers, but most finance managers are very weak when it comes to actually selling you product. Why? because they're scared because most of the time they have very little time to try to earn your trust to sell you a product now I still recommend to get an extended warranty yes people always tell me you don't need those those are garbage no I've been on the service end of things and I've seen how much extended warranties have saved people thousands in some cases tens of thousands of dollars so don't discredit getting the extended warranty or what we call a service contract, okay? The second, and I mean it, the second scam that dealerships across the United States and possibly Canada may pull on you is charging you freight. That is, now most people are going to go, what about PDI? Everybody charges prep. That's something that's just a normal in the industry. Most of the, half the dealerships build it into the selling price, half the dealerships separate it. The guys that, you know, obviously send these low ball numbers to you, they charge prep separately. The guys who have higher price already build in the prep charge into that price. Okay. 
but freight is already included in the MSRP in 95% of coaches. The only time it's not is if they do what we call dealer pickup, DPU, okay, which is a factory term, you know, DPU is dealer pickup. If that's the case, the best way you can combat that is say, may I see the sticker sheet? And if they say, yeah, and you see the freight's been charged, then you go, you don't charge me freight. I'm already being charged freight by the manufacturer. The other way you do it is if they went and picked it up from the factory, hey, I see that there's no freight charge here on the sticker sheet from the factory. Can I see how much you guys paid for your actual invoice for the freight to bring it out here? If they refuse, then just walk away. Say, hey, we're not interested in purchasing if we can't see how much you actually paid to have it transported yourself by the factory. Okay. And the third biggest scam in the entire RV industry that will be pulled at dealership lots is we only allow you to use and purchase our hitches. This is something that is going to be very common because hitches and an installment of hitches, brake control, whether it's a weight distribution, whether it's a fifth wheel hitch, they're going to give you the song and dance of, well, it's a liability thing. We can't help you hook it up because there'll be liability. Now, in some states like California, that's probably pretty true. But the reality is, is they just want to make the extra money and extra profit and charge you more money. It is a profit center. And it's a scam that they'll run. Oh, no, we can't do that. Oh, no, we can't do that. You're going to have to purchase our hitch at our rate with our labor. So, anyway, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, toolkit and sense of humor, folks.